Dr. Thomas Farley takes on big food and big tobacco. A century ago, most local health departments concentrated their efforts on fighting infectious diseases like cholera, polio and tuberculosis. But today, many health departments have a very different focus, cancer, heart disease and type 2 diabetes, some of America's leading killers. Fighting these diseases often means promoting changes in lifestyle and behavior, and no health department has done that more aggressively than New York City's. Under former Mayor Michael R. Bloomberg New York's health commissioners, first Dr. Thomas R. Frieden, and then Dr. Thomas A. Farley, took on smoking, sugary drinks, sodium, trans fats and binge drinking. Those battles weren't always successful. A state court struck down the city's controversial soda tax initiative, and critics complained that New York City was becoming a nanny state. But Dr. Farley, who served as New York's health commissioner from 2009 to 2014, says the city's efforts helped demonstrate that the key to eradicating lifestyle-related diseases is by changing environments, making bad choices harder and good ones easier. He makes a case for this approach in his latest book, Saving Gotham, Billionaire Mayor, Activist Doctors, and the Fight for Eight Million Lives, which shares the behind-the-scenes story of the Bloomberg administration's radical approach to fighting chronic disease. Dr. Farley, who later served as the Joan H. Tisch Distinguished Fellow in Public Health at Hunter College and Chief Executive of the Public Good Projects, is now the Health Commissioner of Philadelphia where earlier this month the mayor proposed a soda tax as a way to fund schools, libraries, and parks and recreation centers. Recently we caught up with Dr. Farley to talk about his book, his battles with the beverage industry and how his approach to public health may have influenced other health departments around the world. Here are edited excerpts from our conversation. Q. Why did you write your latest book, Saving Gotham? A. I wanted to show that there's a way to fight disease other than through expensive medical care. In the United States, we spend roughly twice as much per capita for medical care as other high-income countries, and our health statistics are close to last. People naturally assume we're going to solve this problem through medical care. But it doesn't fit with those statistics. There's a different approach, a public health approach, that costs very little. The book tells the story of how with using that public health approach we were able to prevent the leading causes of death and save many lives. Q. As New York City's health commissioner you led many public health campaigns. Which had the most impact? A. I would say it was our efforts to reduce smoking. During the time of the Bloomberg administration, smoking rates fell by about 25% in New York. Since then they've fallen by about a third. That's about 400,000 fewer smokers. And that alone should save thousands if not tens of thousands of lives. At the same time, sugary drink consumption fell by about a third, and heart disease mortality fell by about 40 percent. 